Hi everyone and welcome back to another online Jiu Jitsu workout class and welcome to 2021. Um, I hope everybody had uh, as enjoyable a holiday season as is possible in these trying times and hopefully 2021 will prove to be um, a lot better for everybody as we go forward. So, looking forward to um, continued open dojo practice and uh, hopefully eventually a full schedule and um, a full presence by everybody without having to work within uh, safety regulations and get back to normal at some point during 2021. Fingers crossed, okay? Um, in the meantime, we will continue these online classes as needed um, because we do have a base of people that are stuck at home and uh, unable to come to dojo. So, let's get ready for class. So, Let me just check my YouTube video cameras. Yes, it is recording too. Okay. Hands on your belt or your hips. Head to the right. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. Dai, ich, ni, san, shi, go. Head back, down, back, down, back, down, back, down. Look right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, tilt, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, any way you need it. Shoulders forward, each knee, son, she, go, reverse, each knee, son, she, go, alternating, each knee, son, she, go, reverse, each knee, son, she, go, elbows up, back, each knee, sand forward, each knee, sand forward, each knee, sand forward, reverse, each knee, sand back, each knee, sand back, each knee, sand back, left hand knee, left hand in your belt, forward, each knee, sand, she, go, reverse, each knee, sand, she, go, and die, each knee, sand, she, Go, reverse, each knee, sun, she, go, natural stance, both forward, each knee, sun, she, go, reverse, each knee, sun, she, go, left arm knee, right hand in, each knee, sun, she, go, out, each knee, sun, she, go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch, and die. Itch knee, sun, she, go, out, itch knee, sun, she, go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch. Natural stands, elbows against your chest, both in, itch knee, sun, she, go, out, itch knee, sun, she, go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, double punch. Hips to the right, itch knee, sun, she, Go, reverse, itch, knee, sun, she, go, stretch it back. Forward. Back hands overhead. Forward. Chest to your right knee, hitch knee, sun, she, go, rux, each, hatch, could you? Left, hitch knee, sun, she, go, rux, each, hatch, could you? And ready for torso rotations to the right. Hitch knee, sun, she, go, die, hitch knee. Sun, she, go, 
and standing split, elbows to the mat, ich ni san shi du rak sich ach ku ju, rocking ich ni san shi du rak sich ach ku ju, back on your heels. Pivot left. Hitch ni san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. Right. Hitch ni san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. Back to center. Elbows down. Hitch ni san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. Rocking. Hitch ni. Sun, she, go, rook, sich, etch, ku, ju, back on your heels. Pivot left. Etch, ni, sun, she, go, rook, sich, etch, ku, ju, and die. Ni san chi go rock sich hach ku ju and come up to shikadach. Breathe in, out, in, out. Shoulder and die, die, die. Extend your right leg for side kick. Die. And die toes up. Die, die, and die, die all the way down, die, die. I'm going to come into hurdler stretch. Don't do this if it stresses your knees or do it in a mild fashion. Forward, itch knee, san chi go, rux, itch hatch, ku, ju, twist. Forward, itch knee, san chi go, rux, itch hatch, ku, ju. Twist, die, forward, hitch, knee, sang, chi, go, rux, sich, hatch, ku, ju, twist, forward, hitch, knee, sang, chi, go, rux, sich, hatch, ku, ju, twist, Die, foot in front again if you can do it. Do it safely, do it. Forward, itch ni san chi go rux ich hach ku ju. Twist. Forward, itch ni san chi go rux ich hach ku ju. Twist. Die. Forward, itch ni san chi go rux sich hach ku ju. Twist. Forward, itch ni san chi go rux sich hach ku ju. Twist. 
Um, one note on this, I had a student in class that had their foot like this in dojo. I can't even do that, put my foot flat and my knee down, but that causes a lot of torque to your knee. What you want to do, if you can, is have your instep flat. And if anything, you can put it underneath your knee, as opposed to doing that, because I don't want to aggravate their uh, MCL. I want to be safe. Okay, both feet in front. And pick him up. Hitch ni san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. Reach a little deeper. Hitch ni san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. Sit up straight. Twist right. Left. Legs apart. Turn right. Reach right. Itch ni san shi gu ruk si ch hach ku ju. Dai. Itch ni san shi gu ruk si ch hach ku ju. Center, elbows to the mat are better. Itch ni san shi gu ruk si ch hach ku ju. Back to the right. Itch ni san shi gu ruk si ch hach ku ju. Left. Remember to keep your opposite buttock on the ground. That's part of the exercise. Itch ni san shi go ruk si ch hach ku ju. Back to center. Itch ni san shi go ruk si ch hach ku ju. And bring him in. Right over left. Grab your toes around the end so that you can bend them and flex them and rotate your ankle. Itch ni San shi go opposite direction each ni san shi go massage your toes ball of foot in step and arch heel and a little bit up your calf pick it up shake 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 put it in the crook of your elbow if you can cradle it rock the baby stretch and put it down. Dai. Rotate it. Shni san shi go. Opposite direction. Shni san shi go. Massage toes. Draw the foot. And step and arch. Heel. And a little bit of your calf. Cradle. Rock the baby. Stretch, put it down, twist right, twist left, okay so um, get your space, um, we're going to do jack knives and of course if you can do the back fall, do the back fall, ready, hey, jack knives, how's your make, hitch, me, San, she, go, ruk, si, ch, hach, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, she, go, ruk, si, ch, hach, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, she, go, ruk, si, ch, hach, ku, ju, hands up your butt, scissors, itch, ni, san, she, Rock, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, leg raises, sitch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, knees to chest, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku. Chu, flutter kick, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, chu, legs straight up, beat on your belly, this way your cheekbones, slowly down, and relax, 
stretch out anything you need to stretch or loosen up. Head off the mat, right knee in. Rotate your ankle. Thigh. Hook behind your knee, put it down, twist. Thigh. Rotate. Hook and twist. Put it down. Both knees in, rocking. Stretch. Heels in, bridge. Hands wave shoulders, push all the way up. And yummy. And sort your stuff out. I'm gonna get ready for push-ups. If you can do the face fall, do so. Otherwise, push to position. Hey! Push up position, head up and leg up, down and leg up, down, head down back. Scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, let's leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, let's leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down and hold it. Slowly down. Relax. Up. Day. 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 And turn around. Fix anything you need to fix. Left hamney, go to gash. Day. Day, EQ. Day. Day, Nick you. Don't let your elbows come above your shoulders, but do let them flare evenly. Day. Dai, she and her ass on cue. Dai.
Tutaj nagi. Finger wrist stretch. And shake it loose. Let's do our Tai Sabaki. So get some room, make sure you have space. And remember that it's all about putting weight on the front foot, the foot and digging in as you come across so that you maintain and don't rock back on your back foot. Left foot forward, starting. Ready, hitch, knee, sun, she, go, hook, sitch, hitch, go. Die, hands up, each step pivot, slow can, so get some distance. Hitch, knee, sun, she, go, hook, sitch, hitch. Hitch, Kip, Chip, Die, Hitch that pivot fast count. Hitch, Me, Sun, She, Go, Work, Sitch, Hitch, Ku, Chu. Die, itch, me, sun, chi, go, hook, sitch, etch, ku, ju, and yummy. Shake it loose. <coughs> So we're going to work on fitting in for close the window and for those of you who don't know close the window is one of our standard practices against a, a roundhouse punch and we call it close the window because we're taking that arm and we're bringing it down evenly. When we close our windows we don't do it one hand at a time like that. So part of the practice of our fitting in is to make sure that our hands are moving together and the way, the way we do that is by using our body to drop rather than individual hands. So it looks like this, left foot forward, I'm going to go on my diagonal just so I've got some space. Um, for Senpai, what you want to also think about as you're coming in is 
how your hands are in space. So our hands are going to come up the center and then they're going to turn with us. And what I've found is it's easy to tell or have people think about it this way. We're coming straight and then our body turns as our back foot comes with us. So our back foot helps turn us to the 45. So we're going straight for their face and then turning. And Senpai, what you might want to consider doing also is a Taisabaki type start with that finish because we want to actually take their arm with the back and come down. If that's too much detail, don't worry about it. So we're going to work like this. So itch, in, and down. Our down, just to be sure, is more on the front leg than the back leg. So you should find that your back heel comes off the ground before your front heel comes off because we're leaning into it. Ready? Hitch and back, knee and back, sand and back, she and back, go and back, rook and back, seat, and back, catch, and back, cue, and back, chew, and back. So you'll notice that my leading hand is coming in like this. It's going to take the shoulder at first and slide down or take the four or the bicep or shoulder area and come down to the wrist. The other hand starts at the face and comes down to uh, the shoulder. So we should end up with this position, but not at this angle, at an even angle, like a crossbar. Okay, ready for our left side. Uh, right, right foot forward, I'm sorry. Ready, hitch, and back, knee, and back, sun, and back, she, and back, go, back, rook, back, seat, back, hitch, and back, cue, back, two, and back. Okay, so um, that was just to get us warmed up. So the idea here is that we're coming in, we're taking their arm, taking their shoulder, in this case my left foot's forward, and I'm going to take them to the ground as though it was falling forward on that front knee. However, it's very difficult, right? <laughs> if we don't get our timing right, if the hand comes around to here, if we don't get it before it's here, we're in trouble. We're going to get knocked back onto our heel or we're just going to dead stop. So we want to work on what we can do from here if we fail to just be able to tip them using their shoulder and our body drop. So I'm going to get my boots, uh, you can get boots or shoes if you want to, get them handy. Um, we're going to work on our Osoto Gary, which we've been doing a lot of recently. Uh, as a reminder, Osoto means big outside. So we're coming to their outside, their arm is here, their foot is there. They have that foot forward because they just punched with that hand. So we want to come in as deep as we can get, but sometimes we can't get that deep, so it'll depend. We're going to roll their shoulder, we can't do our close the window. They've got too much on it, we didn't do our technique perfect enough, one of the most difficult techniques, so it's not surprising that we failed. So now we're going to bring our back foot and do calf to calf with their forward foot. And now we can sweep and come back up. But before we do that, we're going to just practice the sweep a little bit. Just again for the sake of uh, 
remembering our body and the shapes that we need to make. So we're going to stand as though we've just done our uh, close the window entry. So in this case, left foot forward, hands are up, they're not out, they're not back, they're just resting here, elbows near our chest. And we're going to hook the foot, so the back foot, the right foot comes forward, around, and de depending on where you hit calf, it's probably going to be a little bit behind your other foot. There's a lot of debate about where that front foot goes. In this case, we want the front foot in front, so because we're, we're still leaning into that arm, and we don't want to get pushed back. And now we're going to keep our body straight, with our legs, and push. So it's not a coming in and hacking away at that leg. It's a coming in and blocking that leg so it can't step backwards. And then we're going to push it with this pendulum relationship between the top of our body and the bottom. So you want to maintain that straight edge. That's why we want a uh, straight line. So the idea that I'm punching the mat here is for multiple reasons. One is I want to make sure that your torso is going down as your leg is coming up to keep that straight line. Another is that that's where Uke is going. That's where their shoulder is going. So we're going to drive their shoulder down. And this way we can follow them to the mat without losing our balance. And the third part is we want to use the pendulum quality of our leg coming back up to bring our shoulders above our hips so that we're solid and they're on the ground. This could be their arm they're holding. We could be holding onto this arm as we do it. We push the shoulder, we bring them down and we hold onto that arm as we come up. So we're just going to do that. So stand uh, basically left fighting stance. Hands in front, hook, sweep, back up and back to stance. When we come back up, you're going to bring your heels together, your ankles together, so then step back into fighting stance. Knee, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Sun, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Uh, she, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Go, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Rook, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Sitch, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Hatch, hook, sweep, back up, stance. Ku, hook, sweep, Back up, stance, and you hook, sweep, back up, and stance. Opposite side, so right foot forward, hands up. So even though we're fighting stance with our feet, our hands are even because we're pretending we're holding that arm like a crossbar. So left foot coming in, hook, sweep, back up. Okay, so now we're going to put our two pieces together. So essentially, they're going to have their right foot forward because they've just come in with a right roundhouse or haymaker, you know, bar brawl type punch. And 
we're going to come into the outside with our close the window. So we want to get as deep as possible. Let me just move that foot. So I want to get our regular close the window. We want to get both feet as close to past their toe, front toes as possible. Sometimes the back foot doesn't make it quite that far, but that's what we're aiming for. Again, this is a failed close the window, so we might not have got quite that. So we're going to come in, same as before, up the center, turn. I'm a little shy here. Now I'm coming in like so, and sweep, and back up. So if you're wondering what's happening with this, we've got the hand on the shoulder, we've got the hand on the wrist, the shoulder's going to the ground, and the hand holding the wrist is just going to hold on to it. And that way we control their body as it goes down. It's really mean to throw them without holding their wrist for one. It also means you can control them after the fact. So the second hand, if I show from this angle, um, I come in, I hook, I sweep, and that second hand can just pull out to the side. And if that's too complex for you, just keep it in a guardish position and work with the other hand. But technically we're going to be pulling that wrist as the shoulder comes out, because the arm is that distance from the shoulder. Okay, so with or without the shoes doesn't matter. Uh, ready? Itch. Hook. Sweep. Back up. And don't worry about getting back into stance because we're going to be in a different uh, position. We have to back out again. Ready? Knee. In. Hook. Sweep. Back up. So here I tend to bring my hands in front of me because that's where I'm going to bring their arm because this is probably going to be a, a turnover, an arm lock, something. Um, so, ready, sun, in, hook, sweep, and back up. Again, she, in, hook, sweep, and back up. Go, in, hook, sweep, back up. Rook, in, hook, sweep, back up. Um, can't remember what my count was, I think it was on rook. Hook, sweep, and back up. Seach, in, hook, sweep, back up. And notice, I'm, even though we're doing it at relative speed, I'm still saying these things to myself because it helps to have kind of a rhythm or a sing-song to it. So even if you're not saying the words, you can go... Ah, 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 ah. Something like that helps with the rhythm, and helps uh, get the, the poetry of the motion uh, in flowing. Uh, where are we? Uh, hatch. Hook. Sweep. Back. Back. Coo. In, hook, sweep, back up, and you, in, hook, sweep, and back up. Okay, so let's do uh, the other side. And so this time they've come in left side, left foot is forward. We're going to go to our right. So in, hook, sweep, back up. And out. One more time with the boots. In, hook, sweep, back up, and out. Okay. Ready to iterate that. Itch, hook, and back up. Knee, in, hook, sweep, back up. And in, hook, sweep, back up. She, in, hook, sweep, back up. Go, in, hook, sweep, back up. Rook, in, hook, sweep, back up. Seach, in, hook, sweep, back up. Hatch, 
in, hook, sweep, back up, Q, in, hook, sweep, back up, and Q, in, hook, sweep, and back up. Uh, I'm coming in this side, I hook, I sweep, and then if I bring my knee back in to come back up, what happens is I can do that and I'm not up, right? Whereas if my leg is straight and I try to bring it back up, I get a lot of tension on it. it makes me want to come back up. So it's also a longer lever and it'll help you. So if you, if you throw somebody that's heavy and they're holding on to you, they're trying to keep you bent down like that, they're holding onto this arm, you can use that to drive yourself back up. So, tucking that knee it comes natural, right? But it's actually not to your advantage to do that. Okay, so we're going to work on if we again fail for a close the window. So we've come in like this, and this time we're out, right? We're not even close enough to be able to do that because if we come in and their foot is forward like this, and the arm is forward like this and we come in and we haven't got anywhere near deep enough right our, our front foot is still where their front foot is it's not behind it it would be crazy for us to try and force our soto from here because as soon as we try and throw we're going to rock back onto that standing foot which is back out here and put them back onto uh, onto uh, balance, we lose our uh, kazushi, we lo lose our off balance. So if we end up here, their arm comes around further than we expected, we didn't get in deep enough, either distance wise or for whatever reason, now we can say, okay, well, I'm going to stop trying to take them back. I'm going to let them come forward the way they want to. So we can Step in toe to toe with our back foot and hook underneath and then pivot and drop down and do our e -pong. We can also, obviously uh, morote as well. So um, for those of you who don't know, uh, e -pon looks like this. We come in and we clip and we're pinching their bicep in the crook of our uh, elbow while pulling their wrist looking at our wrist watch or whatever our pulling hand is and then we're going to come heel to heel okay won't come with me so I'm going to pretend they do and drop down so that our hips are below their bend point below their hips and then pull them on and across so that's what uh, Ipon is. Marote is almost the same. Marote Sayanagi, Ipon Sayanagi. We come in. This time we've got their shoulder. We've done our close the window, right? We keep on the shoulder. Step in toe to toe. Drive our elbow underneath their armpit. Now we can basically do the same movement. But we're lifting them up onto here. As opposed to inside of here. Doesn't matter about the details. What we're going to do is we're going to work on the fit in. So I'm going to just do it at this angle so you can see. Uh, let me put the shoes back down again over here. So again, they've come with a right, so their right foot is forward. And so I'm going to make sure you can see with the camera angle. And I'm here, and I come in from my close the window. I'm nowhere near deep enough. So I step in toe to toe. I clip. I pull this arm, I heel to heel, I'm exaggerating there to show it, I just heel to heel as I pivot, and as I pivot I'm continuing to pull. So the arm is pulling, the clip is pulling, and then I drop down, drop down as I come in obviously if I can. Heel to heel allows me to drop down even lower by letting my heels come off the ground. And then my elbow comes to my opposite side of my knee to throw. They roll off my back here. 
So you have to have that elbow or shoulder dipped to give the back the slant it needs. So, hard to explain like that. It comes in, we clip, we pull. For the sake of exercise, we're going to grab the top of our pulling hand so we can just look at both of them. They should be in front of our forehead at all times. As we pivot, they stay there. So Uke is coming with us. We're dropping and then coming there. So for the exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to come in toe to toe clip. We're going to forget about the epon for now. We're going to add it in in a second. We're just going to do, or uh, the close the window, we're just going to do basic epon. So we're going to come in, grab that arm. That's the big haymaker coming in. We grab the arm, pull it and clip it, toe to toe over here. Close over here, just for the sake of our exercise. Heel to heel, pivot, drop, tip and throw. And if you end up falling forward like that, it's perfectly fine. Uke's uh, body weight is going to counter that. So ready, we're going to just do that. Step in toe to toe, grab the arm. So I'm right foot in, left arm is grabbing. From now on, this is going to stay in that relationship to my face, in front of my forehead. Clip, drop, both of those stay in front of my forehead. Pivot heel to heel, drop, express the throw, dropping your elbow to the opposite knee, and back up again. So we're going to do it broken down like that five times. Step in toe to toe. Pull, clip, pivot in, drop, throw, and back up. Again, step in toe to toe, pull the arm, clip, grip, pivot, ankles heel to heel, drop, throw, back up. Again, in toe to toe, pull, clip, pivot, drop, throw, and back. Again, in toe to toe, pull, clip, grab, continue pulling as we pivot, drop, throw, and back up. One more time like that. Step in toe to toe, pull, clip, continue pulling as we pivot in, heel to heel, drop, throw, and back up. So of course that's broken down, we don't actually do it that way, as we're coming in we're pulling, as we're pulling we're driving them up with our clip, as they're getting pulled and driven up they're going to do this. Right, they're going to come up and forward, their arm, trying to follow their arm, and that's when we get under them. So the pivot and the drop have actually happen together. So pull up and forward, in and drop, throw. And of course you don't wait to throw, you just throw. So it looks like this. So now we're going to do that five times on this side. Again, the most important thing, the thing that people do the most common is they'll turn their head thinking their body is turning. Or they'll turn their body and they're still facing forward. You don't want your shoulders out of alignment with your hips or your nose pointing down the center. So if I do it towards the camera, I come in, clip, pivot, Pivot throw. Right? So they all stay together. Right? <laughs> this this relationship never stops. Um even when it's here, right? If I turn my back to you, you'll see that when I throw, I'm looking underneath behind me to my armpit, but my hands are still right in front of my forehead. And if you find that difficult, put your hand against your forehead. Try doing that for a while, 
and then you'll soon realize that relationship. Okay, so we're going to do it five times fast. Don't worry too much about your perfect form, just try and get into the flow of it. Ready, itch, and back. Knee, and back. Sun, and back. She, and back. Go, and back. And yeah, mate. So I, I mentioned the thing about falling forward. Often in, uh, in judo practice, they'll do it like this. They'll come in, clip, falling forward. And I'm not expecting to do that, but what I'm saying is that that momentum is what you need. And if you don't have that feeling, then you're doing something wrong, especially you're probably likely to fall back. If you've got somebody in Epon and you start falling back, you're basically giving them a, a choke hold and all your balance. Okay, so let's do the opposite side. They've got the left foot forward. And see, good angle. Like that. We're stepping in toe to toe with our left. Pull that arm, clip, join them for now. Pivot heel to heel, drop, twist to throw, back up. Again, step in toe to toe, pull the arm. Clip, join the pulling arm, pull as you pivot in heel to heel, drop, throw, back up. Again, step in toe to toe, pull the arm, again, relationship right in front of my forehead, clip the arm, join the pulling arm, keep pulling as you pivot in, drop, Pivot or uh, tip, tip them off you and back up. Two more like that. Step in toe to toe, pull the arm, clip the arm, join the pulling arm, pull as we pivot in, drop, tip, back up. One more broken down. Step in toe to toe, pull that arm, clip. Drop, pull as you spin in, drop down, tip and throw. Okay, so let's do it at speed, just like before. So don't worry too much about it, just try and get the flow. Ready, itch, and back up, knee, back up, sand, back up. She, back up, go, and back up. The, the other thing that they do if you don't have room to roll like I did earlier is you step in, you clip, you pull, you come down, you throw, and when you get to there, just do that. Just go from here, try and see if you can squat all the way down. This is a good recovery position too. This time we're going to pretend that we came in and we did our close the window entry and again uh, we got in there way too late. So we're in like this, I've got my uh, left foot forward with their right arm and I'm going to do it as a switch up. So it'll depend on where their arm got to. If it's close to 90 degrees to the plane of action, which is where close the window happens and I'm most of the way in there then I can throw them there but if it's all the way over here <laughs> along the plane of action which at this point I'm probably like possibly getting clunked but if it's close to that and I'm still in like this then I got to come in clip turn and throw them even beyond their forward position. So it really depend on where their arm is, but let's pretend it's at 45, right? 45 to the plane of action. So we're in like this, 
We're going to come in toe to toe. We're going to clip, still pulling, right? And then pivot and throw them there. So it's not much different than what we'd be just doing, except for we're going to come in with our close the window entry to start with. Then we're going to pull, flip, turn, and throw. So again, it looks like this. We come in, close the window entry. So my right foot is back. My hand is on the shoulder. My hand is on the wrist. My hand stays on the wrist. The one on the shoulder flips underneath and clips as my right foot comes in toe to toe. I pivot and I throw. And it, again, it's going to be a little bit across the plane of action depending on where their arm ends up. So let's iterate that slowly. Uh, left foot forward, coming in for a right-handed roundhouse. Come in, too late or not deep enough. Clip, pivot, throw. And out. Knee. Close the window, not deep enough, clip, toe-to-toe, piv uh, -to -toe, pivot, again we're dropping and throwing. If you can drop as you pivot, it's better. Sun, in, clip toe-to-toe, -to -toe, pivot, drop, throw. She, in, close the window. Clip, toe to toe, pivot, drop, throw. Uh, go, close the window, clip, toe to toe, pivot, drop, throw. All right, let's try doing the other side. So same thing, right foot forward. We come in, not deep enough. We clip, pulling this arm, toe to toe with what was our back foot, pivot heel to heel, dropping, and throw. Let me do it this way. Close the window, clip, toe to toe, pull, pivot, drop, and throw. Again. Close the window, not deep enough, clip toe to toe, pulling, pivoting, dropping, and throwing. Again, close the window, clip, pull, toe to toe, pivot, dropping, and throw. One more time. Close the window. Lip toe to toe, keep it pulling, dropping, and then. Okay, so let's do um, a couple, just do three each side at speed. Now, when I say at speed, here, close the window. Oh, didn't work. Oh, Epon. So there's going to be a brief pause where you uh, do your switch up. I mean, when I say pause, it should flow into it, but pause enough for you to think, oh, it's not working, time to do something else. So three, uh, left foot forward, itch, and back, knee, and back, sun, and back, and now right foot forward, itch, and back, knee, Back, sun, and back. If you're out here and you step in toe to toe, you need to be able to pivot, pivot. So instead of going toe to toe and trying to get this foot in and then turning that foot, it's easier if you can just get toe to toe and you just use your hips. Same as when we're doing hitch step pivot. When we turn, we use our hip to bring that foot into place. You can use your hip to drag that in. 
So the, uh, the second foot, the non-toe-to-toe -to -toe foot, gets pulled into place. It doesn't try and find its way there. Ready? Itch. Me. San. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hetch. Ku. Ju. Itch. Ni. San. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hetch. Ku. Ju. Itch. Ni. San. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hetch. Ku. Ju. Itch. Ni. San. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hetch. Ku. And Ju. And standing twists, right, left, right, left, right, left, shake it loose. And a standing split, ready to do windmills. Try and touch past your foot. Remember to look at the ceiling each time. Ready? Itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, stitch. Hatch, ku, ju, hatch, ni, san, shi, go, rak, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hatch, ni, san, shi, go, rak, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hatch, ni, san, shi, go, rak, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hatch, ni, San, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, go, and you. And just drop into shikadach, drop your butt, elbows on your knees. Breathe. In through your nose, out to your mouth. Straighten up your legs, chest to your right knee, each knee, sound, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, jo, left, each knee, sound, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, jo, and drop back down. Straighten just your right leg. Opposite, left, right, left, and bring them in a little bit, drop into a squat, keeping your heels on the ground, so however low you can get, maintaining your heels on the ground. And if you have to put your hands on the ground, that's fine. From here, drop your right knee, touch the ground, back up, left, back up, ankle, toe raises, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hands on the mat, Drop your knees forward, come into Seiza. Stretch back. on the mat, keeping your butt on your heels, slide forward, try to have as little weight as possible on your hands, stretch forward, behind your head, 
and again we're going to bring our elbows forward now if you can touch the elbows to the mat in front that's great while keeping your butt on your heels if you can do better your elbows will miss the mat and you can touch your head if you can do that great if you can't no big deal whatever you got ready itch knee important to keep your butt on your heels though sound she go rook seech hatch ku ju so you'll find your abdominals are actually what's working out here it's not about your neck your back it's you're crunching those abdominals really tight, keeping your butt down and helping to fold you up. Okay, elbows out, and we're going to touch the sides. And again, if you have to come forward and touch forward, slowly work your way to all the way 90 degrees. Again, the idea is to keep the opposite butt cheek on that heel um, as you do it. Ready? Each knee. And she go look seech hatch q chew and twist right left feet in front which each knee sound she go look seech hatch Twist right, left, and back into Caesar. Stretch back. on the mat in front, push yourself up into the squat, raise your butt slowly, don't your legs are straight, shoulders and arms loose, hanging the gravity, slowly come up one vertebra at a time, or at least it should feel that way. Lower back, up through your rib cage, slowly bringing your shoulders up, neck straightening up, and start bringing your arms up from your wrists. Let your hands dangle, tipping your head back. Once you're looking up, start bringing your hands up, reach further back as far as you can go. Vertigo, start dropping your elbows and your chin When your elbows hit your chest, drop your forearms And shake your hips And that's it for today, so let's uh, say the Mock so So yeah, mate. I just thought to give us that. And thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you again next time.